What's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 13 new and updated mods for Mod Hub to take a look at. For all platforms, we got four new and two updates. And for PC and Mac players, we got four new and three updates. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game Mod Hub, so get subscribed if you're new around here, that way you never miss it. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We got the Lizard Mother Bins 150T. Now this is exactly like the Kuleman Mother Bin that we're gonna take a look at here in a little while for PC and Mac players. However, this one's for all platforms and it holds a lot, 185,000 liters. That's pretty epic. It does weigh 20 tons, so it is pretty epic there as well. It does require 300 horsepower and it's only nine slots. This does hold all of your standard Argo Wagon crops, so that's great news. What brands you got BKT, Michelin, Nakian, Midas. Hang on, those are chonky. <laughs> Brian started back in. Uh, yep, going with Midas tires on there. We've got a couple of configurations. We've got a pin hitch on the front. We also have a ball hitch on there as well. Thank you to Spanamonic for dis differentiating those. We also have rim colors. You've got yellow and you've got black. And of course, you can do your license plate on there if you want to. And that's really it. There's not a whole lot to this, but it is absolutely massive. This is the Kuleman version, but again, they are exactly the same and there it is open goodness gracious next up we have the anaburger hts 11 do for spreaders we've got a single axle and double axle versions and it's pretty much the only difference between the two of them other than the slot single axle version is going to be 13 slots and the double is going to be 15 and everybody at right there let's take a look at them so 9.2 thousand liters, 900 or 9,200 liters. That's lime as well. So lime and manure, 5.4 tons, 90 horsepower required, 10 meter spread at 12 miles per hour. You can also do a 15 meter spread if you want to. Side panels, you've got without extension. We've got with extensions. So you can go up to 11,000 liters. Michelin, Trelleborg, BKT tires. Of course, we have multiple wheel setups for both of those, working with 10 meters, 12 or 15. So definitely change that to 15. And of course, we have your license plate. And then jumping in, we've got, well, quite literally the exact same setup here for the uh, double axle version. So the great thing is, if you like two axles, go with two. If you like one, go with one. Either way, you're not losing or gaining anything extra. Your next to last new one for all platforms today is the Lizard MJ12T from Hulse FS. We talked about this Farb Sim News quite a bit, and here it is. Sorry, my mouse is all up in the way right now. Let's take a look. So 12.9 thousand liter capacity, 2.5 tons and 100 horsepower required. We do have some rice wheels on here, which is pretty cool. And this holds all your standard auger wagon crops at only five slots deep. We've got lizard tires, Michelin, Freistein, and back to lizard again, your main color. You do have orange, but you could change that up to a blue. We've got black, ooh, the black looks nice. Green and red, we'll go back to black. Rim colors, we've got black, gray, and white. I'm a big fan of these gray tires and I love them. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Small Manure Heap Pack from Smetty, AKA CMT Software. Love seeing that. So you have four different ones on the far left. You kinda got like an L shape, then you got a right angle, then you got a U shape, then you got wall. <laughs> Gotta love that. Where are you gonna find these? Well, if you go into your build mode, you go right here into silos, go to the very end and you'll find them right here. So the smallest one's gonna be about 80,000 liter. Then we have a 160,000 liter, 220, and lastly, 240. That wall is just gonna put it right around. So you come in from the left, right. Wall is actually really nice. So check this out. So obviously you need, uh, you know, manure for places like this well. What if, instead of having this big manure heap, something like that, you just put it like right there, just right beside, little wall, nothing too crazy, nobody's looking. It's pretty sweet. Of course, it doesn't hold like 5 million liters like everything else, but yeah, it's not too bad. Speaking of, our mod updates aren't too bad today either. Starting off the Reich pack for P or for all platforms, rather, update 1.1. Sounds have been added, helper compatibility has been added, texture error has been fixed, and particle system error has been fixed as well. And your only other mod update for all platforms today, also for Vertex Design, the Reich Agrimax 1060, not a graphics card, RSDY14, what a name, uh, version 1.1. Sounds added, helper compatibility has been added, texture bug fix, and fill plane 
Lightning Bug has been fixed. Where have I seen that before? All right, making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players, we start off with the Kuleman Mother Bins 150T. There is a note about this, and it was on the Lizard as well. I apologize, I missed it then. Uh, they say these trailers are not used to transport grain. No. They are only used at warehouses, at the foot of fields, and things like that. So really only used for intermittent storage. Uh, speaking of storage, 185,000 liters, 20 tons, 300 horsepower required. Uh, again, all of the customization is literally exactly the same, which is great to see. Low hitch, ball hitch, and then you've got black tires as well. Looking good. It was only a matter of time. We've got a tow hitch. Well, towing chain with hook is the uh, appropriate terminology here. So this is going to be 1.5 meters. We've also got a version that's two and a half and three and a half meters. Now, they say with this, you can uh, mount the towing hook to vehicles that have no attacher and then attach the towing chain to this hook if you really, really want to. Three sizes available, as we saw. Attach the red end to your vehicle and then attach the gray end to the vehicle being towed. You can then attach the towing chain to itself with no vehicle in its range can be used for transport settings menus available in some options you can take the towing chain to the hands and attach it manually if you want to multiple attaching of chains has been supported you can turn on towed vehicles throttle if necessary there's a lot going on here let's get ourselves one of these uh they also say you can switch between chains when you're on foot that's kind of cool so there's a lot a lot to this let's let's just find ourselves a couple vehicles that need to be towed around uh for the sake of being easy we'll go with a rigid track and to tow it we'll just go with something very simple like a john deere how about that all right so let's see if we can do this the chain is pretty heavy so be careful when you're moving stuff around uh it says we can attach but i'm not getting a key for that at least not one that I see. Um, let's see, we've got rotate object, nothing there. So I'm just gonna drop it right there for now. And then we'll take uh, this little guy right here. We'll turn it on and just kind of put it around towards the front. Maybe like that. Yeah, that'll work. All right, we'll hook up to the tow and chain. So we've got that. Do we need to bring this forward a little bit? Maybe. Do we have an option to hitch? with that see this is why i should never be allowed to use pc mods uh because i'm not the guy for it uh, <laughs> unfortunately i'm not seeing what button to push what i need to do nothing like that it's not uh you know it's just not doing what i wanted it to do well i'm sure there eventually will be a great video on the tow chain unfortunately i am completely in the ability to use it which stinks. Not very often do we get an animal pen that is for PC and Mac players only. It's extremely rare. However, today is that day, and guess what? It looks to be a complete straight port over from Farming Simulator 19, because I remember this animal pen very, very vividly. Doesn't hold a lot, 40 cattle, that is it. Uh, we can do a couple things, so let's go and turn on some help windows and see exactly what we've got. So of course, We've got dump parts areas right there. We can go and open that up right there. Switch on the lights. Cool, 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 cool. Look a good show auxiliary markers and hide auxiliary markers. Maybe that is why it's only on PC. Possibly. I know a farming simulator 19. Well, that was not a problem whatsoever. Let's see. Let's go and open that up. Look a good. Great animation. Really, really good animation. Open the glass. Close the glass. That's cool. This is neat. It would be really cool to see this on all platforms. I just don't know why it's not. Regardless, it's it's here. And your last new mod today is the REA 22 wheels from 900 Haas. The goal of this mod is to make the game feel more realistic at customizing the vehicle for the task, more rewarding. The goal is to make the mod universal. This mod is supported in multiplayer and dedicated servers as well. No changes in XML is needed. Some data from XMLs are overridden so heads up there in the base game many vehicles do not take tire type into consideration here you can see we've got some narrow tires on the fence 700 uh they say for example a uh, telehandler gets the same amount of traction as a tractor in the field this mod fills in the missing data between the tire track 
index, making it universal. Different tire types now act completely different with different ground types. Mon supports four standard tires. You got mud, street, off road, and crawlers. Calculates the friction based on the size of the tire, making with wides and duals and, and uh, narrows, tracks, stuff like that. Makes it worth using the correct one for the job. Um, for example, heavy field work, narrows are not going to work very well. Not at all. You can see we're actually sinking in a little bit right now. Uh, but fortunately, there's no rain, so there's no mud, and we don't have to worry about that. But if I was using duels in this field, well, that would be much, much easier. And you can get yourself stuck in the ground as well. You'll need to use that chain to get yourself out. Uh, basically, this is the REA mod, the added realism for vehicles, it seems, or, or something like that. I'm very excited for this mod to be back. I really enjoy using this, surprisingly. Um, and uh, yeah, I know I've just been driving around the field, but definitely if you're on PC, check this out. One of the coolest mods ever is back. REA, baby. All right, making our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players. The first one's going to be the measure tool from Daniel Modding. This is Changelog version 1.002. The description's been revised and the unit switching has been added. Next, we've got an update to the tool position saver from the course play dev team. This is update version 1.0.1. Works now with forklifts. Fix the compatibility issue with FS22 cultivator, field creator, and pallet auto loader scripts. They've also fixed the issue with the big bag handle and added key bindings to show and hide the key binds. And your last mod update for PC and Mac players and your last mod today, an update to the click to switch changelog version 1.002. It proved the mouse handling with course play and auto drive and fixed bug to enable switching to a vehicle while a helper is active. This one is from the course play dev team. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you may have did, did yep, yep, drop a like, get subscribed, join the go. <laughs> Man, make sure notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulated videos here on the channel. We got a lot of fun stuff planned for you. I'm gonna be gone, uh, let's see, this weekend and the first couple days next week. So heads up, there won't be any normal mod videos or news videos, but I will be making a day in review video just so you guys know what's going on. But all being said, hope you have a good one today. We'll see you later. Peace.